Right boys, welcome back to another video. I'm on some pre-workout right now, so oh, I'm high as hell. Fucking getting fucking jacked, mate. Beautiful back and bicep session planned for today. Now why am I so excited for back and biceps boys? Well, the reason is this. When we train back and biceps, we mog everyone in the gym. I don't care how big they are. I don't care how shredded they are. They're gonna get the classic Cam Lobo 04, Cam Lobo 04 mog. <sighs> that sounds like ego. That actually brings me into the topic for today's video, which is about lifting with safe form versus ego lifting. We often think when you ego lift, you're not actually lifting with safe form. I feel like I'll be the first one on YouTube to kind of dispute that. The reason being is because two months ago when I was, you know, kind of <laughs> on my, I was kind of like main gaining on mummy's food, right? Curry and rice and shit. And uh, basically I've talked about this, how I expected to keep adding weight onto the bar every week. And, you know, definitely wasn't a lot of weight, but it was, you know, some kind of weight occasionally. And basically, whenever I lift that new weight, it would look like it's safe form. Yet, I'd still be ego lifting. Like, the bar would travel in a straight path. I'd send the video to my coach. He'd be like, yeah, bro, the form, it's not the best, but it's not shit either. You know, it's safe form. So then why do I say I was still ego lifting? Well, the reason being is because just because just your muscles can handle a new weight doesn't mean your joints, ligaments, and tendons can. I've experienced this firsthand about, when was it? We're in November now, October, August, August, October. Yeah, around August is when I kind of, I hate to say this because whenever you talk about injury, you sound like a bit of an idiot for getting the injury in the first place. But essentially I kind of like half injured my right knee because I thought I could keep adding weight onto the bar because you know, I felt like my muscles were ready for it. I could lift the weight with safe form. But when I'd lift that like new heavier weight, I would just feel this unnecessary strain, particularly on squats with my knees. But you know what? I kept pushing because it's ego. You look like you're lifting with safe form, but you don't really feel good lifting that weight. Like you feel, you feel like you're not prepared for that weight. But I did it anyway because, you know, you're watching other people around the gym, people who, you know, watch you, they've complimented you on how hard you're working before. So you don't want to kind of be in front of them lifting less weight. That was my mentality. If I had kept going with our boys, I would probably have ended this journey way too early. I probably would have ended it as soon as I fucked up my right knee. But yeah, half injured my right knee because I wasn't ready to keep adding weight onto the bar, but felt like I had to anyway. So yeah, eat when you... I'm completely lost, boys. Where did I go with this video? Just because you look like you're lifting with same fo safe form doesn't mean you're still ego lifting. Because sometimes your muscles, your muscles will always recover faster than your like joints and ligaments. So what you might find yourself, you might find yourself in a position where you feel like you can lift more weight and then you lift that weight and you don't really feel good lifting it. Like you're feeling like unnecessary, maybe like clicks and strains in places you know you shouldn't be feeling those things. But yeah, make sure that you're not just lifting with safe form, that you're also, how do I say this? Lifting with sensible form where you're like you're lifting a weight that you can handle right and this is something that i've only like been able to get down pat about a couple weeks ago otherwise before that boys i was just like lifting with form that looked like it was safe but still ego lifting because i was just getting all this unnecessary strain on my joints and ligaments and if you're like in a peak bulk fucking cars are passing by 
I need to get like one of those shotgun mics on the camera. Fucking truck wants to rule my video. We'll wait. We will wait. Now I forgot what I just said. Uh, what did I just say, boys? Um, fuck it. He's really done it here. I've, I've, I've literally <laughs> forgotten what I just said. I was talking about ego lifting with safe, safe form versus ego lifting. Talked about my injury type of thing. Where the fuck was I wrong with this? Just, boys, lift with safe and sensible form. Just because it looks like you're lifting... Oh, okay. I, I remembered what I was saying. So if you're in a peak bulk, right, and you've got the calories to kind of build muscle, you can probably get away with lifting with safe form, but still kind of pushing through those, you know, joints, that unnecess unnecessary strain on your joints. But if you're cutting, boys, like, like I am, like I have been these past couple months, you just don't have the calories to be able to afford that unnecessary strain. So you've got to be safe and you've also got to be smart with it. I feel like that's all I wanted to say. Back and bite. Oh, I'm, I'm looking kind of small from that angle. Back and biceps. Getting fucking jacked, mate. High on pre right now. Let's get it.